Okay, I'm going to do a walk around on the outside of this 2021 Tiffin R 25RW. This is the one with the, uh, the largest slide, which has the Murphy bed. The uh, Roadmaster spare tire carrier, spare tire and cover are included in this sale, so that will be part of it. I've got the awning out, the slide was out. You see how that works. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, steps come out, go inside. I'm going to retract the, the awning. Let's see how that works. That awning is equipped with a wind sensor so that it uh, will automatically attract or de bring itself in if uh, the wind picks up. It does have stereo speakers and lighting on both ends. And it also has, you can see it there, LED lighting all the way along the thing. Here's a little spider panel here. Let me show you where the, uh, there's the, you can see the, the LEDs and then the light in the speaker there. We'll go back in here and we'll uh, turn we'll that off. We don't have to wait for the other okay. Yeah, the t TV's running. I need to shut that off. Okay. Here's the inside. The cab area. This Mercedes chassis has every safety option you can imagine. It's got the uh, adaptive cruise control. It's got the lane departure or it wiggles the steering wheel if you get too close to the line. It won't bump you back in, but it, it will let you know if you're about ready to go over across the line without having your turn signal on. There is a tire pressure monitoring system installed in it. As you can see here, we got the heat shields all the way around, which greatly help with keeping temperatures down. Um, it does have a, a dash cam on it, so kind of another little safety feature we put in it. Uh, the cabinetry above the cab, we did the cabinetry with the TV there. Um, there is plenty of storage above this area and the, uh, the TV swings out too so you can place it at an angle while you're sitting in your uh, theater seating. Um, above the theater seating you've got more storage space and all these cabinets up here. We put heat shield on the back of all of these cabinets to help keep the coach cooler inside, reflect the heat away. If you put any of your groceries and stuff up there it, it really helps. Here's the kitchen area. You got a sink with a sink cover. You've got the uh, stove top. You've got a nice um, work table that pulls out there. This is, we got this at a show, but it's a nice little cutting board with a Tiffin Wayfarer on it. We keep this on here because going down the road so it doesn't rattle. But this is the nice cooktop that has the um, the cast iron grate on it, which is much nicer than this ones with the little uh, wire ones. You got soft open closed blinds on all the windows. Um, we do have a paper towel holder, some mitts, oven mitts. You got more storage above here. Now something to note on this one, it is a 2021, but it's an early 2021. So the door in this one 
is the older door, not the one that has all the, the problems. And the TV's not above the cabinet where it takes away your storage space. Um, so that's really nice. And then you got your microwave above the refrigerator. You do have a quite large, I think it's six and a half square foot refrigerator. That's the freezer area there. The refrigerator area. Okay, moving on up here, we've got a surround sound speaker that works with the stereo that is um, right by the front door. Here we have the all the controls for your solar panels, your inverter, your lithium batteries, your Truma hot water heater, which this does have the Truma Aqua Glow antifreeze um, attachment in it. So in the winter time, you can set it to the antifreeze position. It will circulate warm water through the system, to keep it pipes from freezing. Um, you've got your um, antenna cable selector, your inverter controls, and of course your own and diesel generator controls. Um, down here, there was a TV here. We still have that TV. It can go along with everything if somebody wants. We got the mount and the TV. We chose to have cabinets put in here at Winfield. It gives us a ton more storage on the inside here that most standard RWs do not have. We've got three large drawers down here see they hold quite a bit below that you've got your um, converter your fuses uh, co2 detector and a um, outlet over here we had them split this door so now we have an upper cabinet where you can hang clothes and then a lower cabinet where we've got like a hamper which works out really well from us but the it does go through, so if you have longer clothes, they can hang down next to that. Um, here's the shower. Got the skylight above the shower. This right here is an early 2021, so it does have the step-in shower, which to me is a huge advantage. Later on, they dropped that down to where it was there was no step-in, but you lost the whole outside storage area underneath that because they rearranged stuff. Um, moving around to here, you've got uh, cabinets above the sink, more storage space. You've got this really huge square mirror as opposed to the round mirror, which is really nice. And then your, your vanity and more storage below that. Um, it does have a, a pocket door to close off your bathroom for privacy and it does click in and it stays put while you're going down the road so it's not sliding all over the place uh, smoke detector here we have the um, zoom out a little bit the Murphy bed so maybe back a little bit for it that's the Murphy bed right there I'll show you how that operates in a minute um, then we're gonna go over here. We got plenty of cabinet space up above the theater seating. I may have already covered that. I don't remember. Uh, okay, let's stop and I'll show you how the okay. okay theater seating is electronic. There's a control right down here that you hit, and you can see. lines very nicely and you hit the button and of course it goes back in so that's that's a nice feature there the Murphy bed is also electronic you've got a couple legs swing those legs out first because that's what it rests on when it's down and then you come down here and there's a switch get lower and it's electric it works great no problems whatsoever there's down and you got your bed above that you got more cabinets 
more storage space. There is an outlet over here if you have a CPAP. And there is enough room that a CPAP does fit up in that cabinet just fine if that's something that you need. To raise the bed back up, simply hit raise. And bring it on up. And you just put your legs back down out of the way. Put your bolsters back. These are held on with a little bit of Velcro so they don't go flying while you're going down the road. There you go. And of course we've got beachy little pillows because as you could tell, we do have a turtle and beachy type of a scene going on. Okay, now we're going to bring the slide in. I'm going to show you how to do that. You got to make sure that the emergency brake is on. You hit the start button for the engine twice. It starts beeping. The reason it's beeping is because the uh, jacks are down. And then you come over here. Hit retract. There you see your slide comes in. You're done there. Turn that off and that stops. Okay. Take you outside, let you see what it looks like with the uh, slide in. That's it with the slide in. Now, you do have a lot of stuff storage underneath here. There's your uh, propane tank. This is the, it's locked. At the suicide doors but you can see there's a lot of room under there um, what you see in there is pretty much going to come with this one because uh, like I said we're, we're getting out of the RV is um, there is a gas grill in there it's a Cuisinart and then there is a nice gas fire pit um, there's a extra um, 30 amp cable I think it's a 25 foot cable in case you need to stretch a little bit um, there's also an extension for the uh, propane that plugs into the and uses the propane from the coach so that's nice you're not having to carry extra propane tanks with you and then uh, back here is the wet bay and you've got a sewer pipe there there's your connections for your water and for the Santa flush, um, there's your little bracket that you support the thing with so everything flows downhill the way it's supposed to. There's uh, another storage for um, a sewer hose there and that does have one in it that's included. Um, back here you've got another, there's your hoses. This has got uh, the orange one is for flushing your tank. The blue one is your um, fresh water. Uh, got a really nice. I can open it. There's the water regulator. It is adjustable. It's got the gauge, so it gives you a lot of flexibility. It parks. these up, go around the other side. Okay, again, this is the bin back here that you don't have on the later 2021 and newer uh, Wayfarers. They did away with this completely, and so you have nothing but a panel there now. You'll see here. 
the amount of storage that you're losing. And there are two more sewer hoses in there just in case if you're really far away. And then there's also storage up above um, the tank there as well. And then uh, this bin, this is your Cummings Owen RVQD3200 generator. This right here is a diesel generator, which is really nice because it sips fuel. And then we've got another bin here, which is another one of the ones that has the like the suicide doors, I think they call them. There's your inverter in there. You can see the storage up above there. Plenty of room. There's the hose. There's a gas or a charcoal grill in there too. Uh, below there, you got your carpet, your mat, you got tables, you got chairs. Um, the Sun Pro uh, windshield cover is there. Um, I mean, just all, all of this stuff is included in, in the, the sale of this RV. And that pretty much is uh, it. I'll uh, close it up. Just your quickie steps going in. And, and that's it. Beautiful RV. Okay, here's some controls for various lighting and stuff like that as you come in the door. And then you have your Bigfoot leveler. And we're gonna retract the jacks here. This is all automatic. You can see down here, there's your going up. This includes the snap pads, which is really nice because it gives you a very firm, solid, bit larger foundation for these to sit on. They're also insulated. So in a thunderstorm or something like that, you do not have metal jacks acting as your ground rod. Um, and there are the, the back ones, last ones going up.